Right, so this is the important job at the start to try and cut a perfect hole in here. This is the 28 tooth plate wheel and that's going to go on the uh, generator part of the beast. Right, let's do this. <laughs> I mean, that's making way too much noise. I think the drill bit's got a bit of a wobble and that's what's causing it, but. So that was a bit of a mission. My drill's got a bit of a wobble. So you'll see this will go in and it's got a lot of play, but that's fine. But it's all good because with those bearings welded on, That's good to go. That is good to go. Obviously it's not been welded yet, but if we took those away, complete doo-doo, add those on, it's doo-doo free, baby. Look at that. Doo-doo free. Yeah, boys. Oh, let me go get the other jobby. You can see where it started going bad, and then I managed to, I flipped it upside down and got it together. So, turn it upside down. Looks a bit more raggedy on that side. That drill bit was done in, so I've tried sharpening it with a grinder. It's cool, isn't it? Looks like some planet. That's not bad. Right, it's not feeling perfectly central to me. Let's have a look. So let's tighten them up there. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? Sweet. I'll tell you what, the epic thing to come out of that is that I seem to have been able to sharpen the drill bit in job. Just using a grinder taking... Uh, they're not welded on yet, but I don't think I've done too bad with regards to how central the hole is. That's the biggie. If the uh, drill bit wanders too much right in the middle it's hardly to move it it's good that's pretty good as well sick that is kind of what it's going to look like when it's done in the middle and obviously have the stator welded on there will be another bearing the reason I have to use two bearings here is to get enough room to get in and weld here this bearing the first bearing to the bearing in the rotor and then it's got to be welded here it's got to be welded here all the way around <clears throat> here, all the way around here, 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 and here with another bearing on. And then it's quite symmetrical, and then all that gets welded together. Job's good. So that's it with two bearings either side. Looks pretty sweet, just down to me to weld it all perfect now. I'll spend a lot of time setting it up. I may even 
take the rotors off then start welding that those bits squashing the vice or something but it should be cushy I actually ended up slimming it down by two bearings should be a bit better light so you see there's just one bearing on the right then the small gear another bearing so the I've sat for a while thinking about it and the plan for the welding is to weld these three together first sorry it's not great light is it trying to get a better angle this one this one and the gear I'm going to weld those three together then I'm going to weld these three together one two three and then I'll weld that to that and I'll weld the ends job done so to progress I need to clamp this uh, the drive wheel in between the two bearings and weld it together right I didn't think that one through at all because what's obviously happening is the bit on the inside of the bearing is making contact with the plate wheel so it will spin but it's got too much friction we want it nice and smooth so unfortunately I've got to grind it off and if so uh, you know I've got another one and I've got some bearings so I'll know for the next one and I think the only option I've got is to physically remove a little oh, physically remove a little layer around here to the point that the bearing this inner circle of the bearing that's all I need to turn as long as that's smooth that's fine so what I'm gonna have to do is I need to learn my lessons is grind this off and then check if the bearings are any good and then yeah hopefully I can fix it but that's what I'm gonna do I don't know if that's going to come off yet. If it's going to come off at all. Oh! and it works basically perfectly look but the uh, this bit was getting on there so I'll just get the bish bosh on this one and then we'll see what's occurring So that's good because now we can see that spins nice and easy how it should have done. Nice and easy. So yeah, that was a cock up, but it shall be rendered renderable. So this is where I've got to so far. This isn't welded on. All this is welded together. I've just done the first tack on this. And so I'm going to get this done. So this turned out to be pretty cool. That maximum vortex. Whoa. Yeah, so I thought you'd like that. Peace. What's up YouTube? So it's Sunday and I finally got this thing welded together. So first impressions, pretty good. Uh, I've got a list of a few things I want to talk about. Firstly, the rear rotor. Well, you know, I, don't, I haven't decided which is front and rear, but this one is straighter than this one. Okay, and when we give this one a 
roll we might be able to see. It's a little bit out, not too bad, but there's a bit of movement on it. Secondly, you can actually see it's sitting on a collar in there between the stator bracket with the bolt in and the bearing of the rotor. I had a few problems with the bearings. One of them I ended up crushing a little bit in the vise. And also, as you see earlier on in the video, I had to take one of them apart. I'd welded this one first and I messed it up because I didn't remove an inner bit of the uh, bearing, but that will have been mentioned earlier on at the start of the video. This is what it looks like in, a, in the outdoor light a bit better. So what you'll see is two bearings here. I had to put two in because with this being so wide, I wouldn't have had any room to weld the bottom bearing on. There's two bearings separating these, two bearings again for the same reason, that I needed more space to get in there properly, and then one bearing on there. So one, two, three, so five 50 mil bearings, and then the two plates. And obviously that is not coming off. I didn't want to over weld it and end up doing something wrong to the bearings. Uh, the bearings, I don't think 100% rotate as they should, uh, but it's pretty good. 